What is up everybody? Welcome back to 3G Video. Today we're here at Bandemir Speedway. I actually got to come here another time this year. We'll be here one more time before this place gets teared down. But I got to come to a car show that's happening today. We're going to be checking out the cars. We're going to be hanging out. We're going to watch some trailer burnouts from one of my buddies that's here. It's going to be a fantastic day. Let's get started with today's video. done normal car shows on the channel a couple times not my normal thing by any means however this one is a little different we actually have grudge racing going down because we are at Vandermeer and we also are gonna have a burnout competition and then as I said Chuck's gonna be doing some trailer burnouts I have him talk about that here in a minute but cars are getting in the lanes make to make passes we're gonna see a wide variety of stuff including McLaren's here it's gonna be a great day guys Okay, before we go talk to Chuck, we're going to run around the pit area here and see what all is here for the car show and the racing today. Have a whole line of RX-7s. Money. I love it. So let's take a look. So coming through the car area, these two Lambos are getting a lot of attention. Now, yes, they look pretty sweet, but they are actually 3D printed cars. This one has an LS in it. I don't know what the other one has. But they are still... So they do not have Lambo engines, but they do have genuine Lambo parts on them, like steering wheels and such. But you can tell like this one isn't completely finished. And this one looks like it probably runs, but isn't painted. And you can tell that it's just not exactly like what it would be out of a Lambo factory, obviously. But it's still really cool to see people out here building stuff like that. I guess that just kind of shows how far technology has come that we can 3D print and make our own hypercars and make them out here. And they're getting as much attention as any other car would. So sick. All right, so I've been running around the pit area slash car show area. Been really cool, but I found Chuck. So you're you're the reason I'm here, obviously. Yep. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what we're doing here? This okay. is the KBPI car show in Denver, Colorado. And part of the car show, they do grudge racing uh, along with the car show and they do uh, a burnout competition. So I contacted uh, Willie, one of the DJs that helps run the show and works at the radio station and thought it would be fun to do an exhibition burnout with the trailer, a trailer burnout, kind of promote uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week, the drag and drive stuff, and that's why we're here. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you do a burnout down the track. That's going to be very unique and Me awesome. Too. So uh, that's cool, and we're just hanging out, having a good day, right? Yes, sir. Awesome, man. All right, so it's going to be an awesome day getting to uh, shoot for them uh, doing the burnout and such. But I want to go around the, the area here and actually kind of highlight a couple of the cool cars. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Obviously, it's a car show, but there's a couple of unique builds. So let's go look at some of those. All right. So I don't know if they do this on purpose or not, but we have like a whole section of Dodges here. You have Subarus down on the other end. Like there's a whole bunch of different sectioned off things of different brands or uh, American cars, German cars, that type of thing. 
it's kind of interesting how uh how that all happens it might be that they purposely do it to keep in classes for voting or just people tend to migrate to what they have but it's pretty wild stuff here all right so we're over here in subaru alley and we have probably one of the most unique subarus here it has a 2j big single turbo this thing is pretty sick uh you can tell it's on air have the airlines that are sitting in here obviously it's it's real low and he's rocking a trailer that is another wagon i think this is set up for uh hauling his dogs or something like that got some dog hair in it that is very unique i love seeing stuff like this out okay another very unique uh kind of ish car the leader bike engine on the go-kart the wing is the gas tank that's hilarious okay so the honda van is pretty pretty great but i also love that they have the, the moped behind that thing's really clean love that moped right hand drive van imported something else that is super cool here at bandamere for this car show okay guys well cool to see some of those cars and we have a ton of cars up here in the lanes they're actually getting close to time to shut the lanes down for drag racing and the grudge racing to go into a burnout contest and we'll be doing the trailer burnout here with chuck after a while but still got a lot of cars in the lanes filled up we're gonna run these out and see some cool drag racing Race between the oh 1214 and a 1200 right lane takes the win. Another cool pair is this bar pair of Barracudas. These guys just met but they wanted to run together because the same car ish. They run within like a tenth of each other. One has a new gen Hemi over here in the left lane, and then the right lane has a big block. It's a 383 with a 440 crank in it, which turns it into like a 479 or something like that. Real cool pair here. Let's see what they put down. Twelve eighty three and a thirteen forty two left lane takes the win. This sub you don't see every day on the drag strip. Yes, that's a dirt bike on Nami. Down the big end. Dirt bike is running out of steam down there. Goes down to a 2043 at 47 mile an hour. But got a cool wheelie out of it. Alright, so the lanes are emptied out from the drag racing. We're getting ready to do a burnout contest. There's a mini bike group that's gonna be doing burnouts. This is gonna be wild. So they have a mini bike group up here that's gonna be doing uh, burnouts together in honor of uh, one of the kids that. Uh, was here a lot and has uh, passed away. So cool to see them do this tribute. Let's see a cool uh, group of mini bikes group right out here.
right, so we finished up the burnout contest. Pretty fun watching those guys just sit there, roast tired, having a good time. Now, we're going into the awards. They're all lighted up, all the guys that uh, won the different categories that they have for the car show section. So they're handing out the awards for that, all the trophies and such. And it's been a good day. I think we're going to do some more uh, drag racing here to end out the evening. We're just going to hang out and we'll go up and check in. Okay, guys, this is another one of the crazy cars here at the show. Yes, that is an actual GE jet engine with an afterburner, makes 2,000 horsepower, and it still has the 60 horsepower smart car engine in it. This thing is wild. Crazy what you can come out with, up with whenever you have time on your hands and you know what you're doing with jets. Okay guys, I got up here with Chuck and them, hung out for a little bit. He's gonna get me ride back down to Benny to finish off today. I get to ride in the cool C10. Crazy to think this place is gonna be gone soon. Sad. Such a cool facility. I was glad I got to experience it. And yeah, it's all the different tracks I've been to. I still think the layout and everything of this track is just there's nothing quite like it. That is so true, and I'm gonna miss Bandemir so so much. Now this is the actual final video from Bandamere. Glad I got to sneak another one in there for you so we could kind of go back and remember what this track was about and uh, how much it meant to all of us. Thank you guys for being here for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be looking forward to the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit a like on this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day, and as always, I'll talk to you guys next time.